Welcome back, everybody. Rudy, Alpha Investments. And today, we're going to drift away from Magic the Gathering a little bit again. And we're going to continue to explore other card games every once in a while. Like once every month or so, we like to check out some other things. Whether it's the Final Fantasy, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I said Yu-Gi-Oh. Whether it's going to be Force of Will. You know, we talk about Pokemon. And every once in a while, we go back to everybody's favorite and least favorite. We're going back to the future card infamous Bushy Road Future Card Buddy Fight card game because quite frankly, it's unique and I like to explore different card games. And I buy the products for the store anyways. I carry them anyways. And you know what? Let's check it out. We got another new set. This one came out in the last few weeks. The Rainbow Striker. You know what's interesting? They actually put like different kind of worlds. They tell you the type of cards you can expect support for. On the cover of the box. I don't know if they always did that. I found that really interesting. I kind of it's, it's kind of like a magic box to tell you the theme and the type of cards that would be in. It's kind of I find that fascinating. So, anyways, we're gonna check it out because we did one of these videos like a month ago, maybe or a month and a half during the holidays, and we were showing the uh, Bushy Road version of what they would do gift boxes compared to the Magic gift boxes. You guys remember that? For some of you watched and everything, it was pretty cool. So, let's see. Let's check it out, shall we? I think it's going to be kind of fun. All right. Are you guys ready to have fun? We're not messing around. This is serious. Boy, I mean, that'll mess you up. All right. So we have the infamous. Uh, well, not really super infamous. This is what the booster box looks like. What I think is cool, I really kind of find this fascinating. I know in Magic or nobody else will ever do this, but I actually think this is neat, where they tell you the type of cards that are actually the kind of support that the cards you can expect in the box are, and for what kind of game type and what kind of support. I just, I really think that's neat. I've never seen that done. Of course, artwork, characters, very cool, very colorful. And uh, I don't think anything really strange. As you guys know, remember these are five card packs, they're very tiny. Remember their sets are only around 120 cards. And of course, the other thing I do really like is they also display and they tell you, my favorite thing, they tell you how many different variants and different things you can expect. And one thing I did not know that I learned from the last time I did a box opening was that I guess every box you get one pack of all secret rares. I thought it was like a god pack type thing, but apparently it's not. Apparently one pack in every box contains, what is it, 15 possible? Yeah, 15 possible cards, and there's three different versions. So each pack's five cards, so there's three different versions of the secret rare pack type thing. And then when I open this, if I can... Well, apparently, I'm not skilled enough to open this. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to point out was box toppers. So, a lot of you may not be familiar with the term box toppers. Um, I would kind of relate this to what I'd call a, uh, maybe a buy a box promo for all you Magic the Gathering people out there. So, or maybe Force of Will, they would do pre-release kind of promos, or maybe a Friday Night Matter, an FNM type promo. So, they put it in the box. So, you, the people who buy the booster box are always guaranteed to get one. And I, I find that to be a, an interesting business model to kind of make sure that your actual customer gets kind of that piece. Uh, refresher for everybody. Um, I'll show you, kind of, well, this is the box topper, just so you know. Dragon Roll card, Thumber Empire, Monster Size 1, Power, Defense, Crit in the middle, 1, Abilities in the middle, Artist in the corner, Rarity down there, PR means promo, EN for English, Name of the card, and uh, flavor text right there, and uh, artwork, and of course the standard buddy fight back. So I know very, very few of you on my channel actually play this game, so I want to actually make sure uh, you guys even know what's really going on. So like I said, I'm not going to spend a ton of kind of extreme amount of time, I really just kind of want to show you this stuff. Uh, reminder and everything, um, remember items, this is the item, that's pretty much the power, the crit, and of course at the bottom it'll tell you there's a common. First three cards are usually commons from my experience. You can see on here, see the C for common, common. Uh, a lot of crystal support type things, monster egg. <laughs> so we're going to put the uh, the common cards down. I'm going to pretty much, just, we're going to skip through the commons because anyone who plays the game, just like Magic, nobody cares about the commons. Um, and then, of course, you get the single rare, double rare, triple rare. You have parallels and, of course, the super mega mythic type of, you know, lottery type rare, the buddy rare, which is so many box booster boxes, you get one. And uh, the single rares, I'm not a fan of the foiling. I never like the sparkle foiling. It doesn't add to the art. It just kind of looks a little like they just threw it over it, and it doesn't really complement the card. 
I just want to give you all my opinion on pretty much the different variants you're going to see. The number one complaint I hear from the American Western culture is people feel the artwork is too busy. There's too much going on in the card. A lot of people complain that the card just seems it needs to be toned down. But of course, in other cultures, the more extreme the look, the more the Force of Will, Yu-Gi-Oh! style look, it's a lot more. They like that really in-your-face, really dramatic type of card. A lot of activity, a lot of colors, very busy looking. So, obviously, you can see uh, Chaos, power of 5,000, defense of 4,000, critical of 2. It is a full-blown monster size 3, max size you can get. Ability set, and uh, you can see the Chaos territory and the flavor text in the middle. Again, common, common. But see, I, I love the more hand-drawn art type of stuff. And of course, you can get parallels. See, here's a common still. And this is a foiled common. So you can get kind of parallels of the whole set. And of course, you get your uncommon. And again, we're at a standard single rare, the Chaos Freya. I'm terrible at pronouncing some of these cards. But the artwork, to me, I love the more hand-drawn. Reminds me more of a 90s style feel of the artwork. So I always, I'm always kind of a fan of that kind of stuff. So common, and I always think this, I think this is a cool card. The, the Merit Awards Ceremony. Oh my god, I can't talk. Merit Awards Ceremony. It is a spell. Remember, you have items, spells. You even have, um, oh wait, we haven't pulled any yet. And then, of course, the monster sizes. So, common. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Look at that little shadow dragon. Uncommon. Silver monster egg. And, wow. Look at that. Look at that prism. Look at that prism support. And uh, single rare again. See, I don't think the foiling on that really adds to the card. Like, I feel like there needs to be more like a custom foil. Like, I don't, like... Like, the spec should, like, line... Anyway, it's cool. Anyways, just wanted to share. You can see it is a spell card. You guys can read it if you want. Set remains in the battlefield. You can read it. But pretty cool. I'll, I'll stop and we'll actually read. I'll go through the uh, more of the high-end, more of the chase cards versus the common uncommons with everybody. Uh, another little shadow dragon. Another little dragon knight. And uncommon raised castle town. Another spell. And another single rare chaos company. Call cost, it does cost two gauge, a throw in the game, but it does have double attack. When this card attacks, you gain two life, and if you have two or more other monsters, this card gets double attack. Or double strike, whatever you guys want to call it. Big fatty monster size three. Remember, biggest size you can get. All right, let's get some cool stuff, man. You guys think we're actually going to pull something amazing? I'd like to see, like, a really, really awesome card pool. There are some expensive $50, $100 cards that you can actually get in this. And holy smokes, look at that double rare. Now, that's the other thing I forgot to tell a lot of you. Have you noticed? The single rare has a certain type of foiling, the type I don't like. The double rare has a different type of foiling. It kind of looks like a, a kind of a crosshash, crisscross kind of pattern. It's kind of cool. Sword of the King Scabbard. Surter? I can barely read that because of the reflection. Surter cross? I can barely read it. This is an item, as you guys can see. It's one of the items. It's not a spell or a monster. And, of course, this God, that is kind of neat looking, though. I love how the art flows through the text. I think it's kind of a neat design. I wish Magic would do like a full art. Anyways, when you equip this card, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, put up to one item with Sword of the King and its card name from your deck into your hand. Kind of a way to uh, search for the cards you want, as they say. All right, let's stop rambling on these little cards. Let's get some good stuff. Am I right? Die Shadow Dragon. This is a little dragon, guys. Yeah, keep this little dragon knight. Uncommon giant bird. Oh, good lord. There's just, it's just a giant bird. Nothing really crazy to say. Single rare double thunder blade joker. Eh. Okay. All right. Next pack. We're going to go with, we have another, is it LD50? Yeah, it's LD15. Common. Dustbreaker. Another dragon. Another, wait, was that the same card? I was like, wait a minute. Two Dustbreaker dragons. What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, all right, I know I'm not like a buddy fight professional, but I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so we have the common, and then we have the foil variant of the same card. That's actually kind of ironic in one pack, am I right? Uncommon, and of course, single rare Dragon Fangs Fist. Yeah, Man, we are not... Dude, give us something amazing. I thought I was supposed to get like a crazy, I mean, special box or something. Ah, uh, look at those greed. Look at the Lapis Greaves. Prism Dragons. Look at all these Prism card support. Item, and and we have an impact. That was the other one. I forgot. I played like one game of Buddy Fight like a month ago. I haven't really even messed with this in the last three weeks, so I'm a little rusty, you guys, from the holidays. Impact. I'm not a huge fan of the Impact cards. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I haven't played it right, or maybe I haven't seen it in action, or 
a really good one, you know. Anyway, single rare, direct dynamic, diamond overhead. All right, so I have to make it dramatic, you guys, since apparently I can't get any good pulls. I mean, jeez. Now, that is a cool sword. That reminds me of Final Fantasy. Doesn't that, doesn't that remind you guys of Final Fantasy? Fabricated Sword of the King. Does that say replica? Yeah. Natural. I was like, wait a minute. Really? Chest break. Dragon Press. And Ice Blooded Emperor into the Uncommon. And, God, really? Another single rare? Anata Overshadowed Dragon. Look at that big monster, beefy dude. Dude, let's get some. Man, we are. Uh... So I guess Rudy is on the path to dodge every good card in the set. And that is uh, how we roll. Chaos Slime. Look at these guys. They're pissed because Rudy hasn't gotten a good card. All right, wait a minute. How is that a rare? Did I skip a card? Common? Oh, is this a multi-rare pack? Oh, it's a foil rare. It's in the foil slot. God, I'm not used to that. So, okay, you can have a, an additional... So we have a regular, a different foiling on a standard foil rare on this Thunderblade Joker. And then we have Back to the Uncommon. Man, that's confusing. Look at that. That's a cool spell. Look at that. Cast cost. Discard a card from your hand. Ooh, I'm not really a fan of the discarding part. Put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Put up to one size three. As God, from your deck into your hand. I don't like discarding cards. I'm never a fan of that. All right. Thunder Emperor Shield. Single rare. This is a regular rare. You can tell by the different foiling. Item. Power of 7,000. Crit 2. And to equip it, you got to pay 2 gauge. Nobody cares. It's just a regular card. Let's get some cool stuff. Where are all the cool stuff? Chaos Gamma Radius. 15 Rocket. Come on. Fabricated Sword. I love how it says replica at the end. That just kills me, you guys. Uncommon Life Crystal Dragon. Yummy. And, man, we have got nothing good. <laughs> oh, my God. Reborn. The Hanako in the... In the, is that, the Hanako in the toilet? Does that say in the... It does say in the toilet. All right. This uh, future card buddy fight just gained one respect point just because it said in the toilet. That's just the most... That takes some kahunas to print something like that. That is really funny. All right. Fabricated Sword again. Ground Fairy Gnome. Another flipping common. And full bright eye uncommon. Oh, I thought that was the foiled, but it's just regular. And another single rare. Mini gear gear god blue. That dude, that artwork has so much going on. I mean, obviously it's a chaos card, but holy cow. 7,000 power, 2 crit, 2,000 defense with a big old size 3. When your opponent's monsters attack, you may choose an attacking monster. Drop an additional gauge and put this card from the field into the drop zone. If you do, destroy the chosen card. That's uh, all right. I don't really consider that that really a great. All right, common another chaos slime. Hey, look at that. Is that a uncommon? Wow, that is a cool sword. See now that I really like. Fabricated sword of the king. Oh, a, look, I love how the like says it has a different name than replica. I think that's funny. Power of five thousand. One crit. Counter during. Wow, that is neat looking. That's our first uh, uncommon foil. And is this an uncommon? Shadow Dragon Arts Impact Card, Uncommon, and a single rare Dragonic Shadow Gauge. Actually, not a bad rare. I remember when I saw that one. Um, the financial value, just to give everyone a heads up on these, is not really anything extreme unless you really pull one of these super rare cards, which clearly I'm not good at doing. Oh, look at him. Red Crystal Dragon. How cute is that little guy? And hello. Wow. And I was just complaining that I was not pulling anything. That is awesome looking holy smokes look at that texture wow bloody holy grail spell that is really neat okay legend world it is a wow oh my god you may only cast this card if you're being attacked wow that's the uh wow okay counter nullify the attack then you have an i then, if you have an item equipped, put up to one hero other than the Bloody Holy Grail from your drop zone into your hand. That is really cool. That is probably the best card I've pulled. That is a triple rare. That is the coolest card I've pulled in this box. That is really neat. Okay, and we're back to Chaos Gama Common. Common's Fabricated Sword, Ground Fairy, Uncommon Sorcery, and hey, a double rare. Mini Gear Gods Factory. <laughs> Look at that factory with all those arms. It is another spell. Wow, that is neat. So we actually, that's finally, is that our first double rare? That might be our first double rare or second one. We haven't gotten many of those. All right, moving on. Common card, common card. Chaos Balur. Dragon Arms Return Bit and 
Holy smokes, another triple. Wow, look at these so look at these items we're getting. We're getting some killer spells and items. Wow. Demonic I can't read that reflection, sorry guys. Demonic descent sword of the king. Holy smokes, look at that sword. If I went to Walmart with that sword, I guarantee you they would give me a free taco pack. Wow. Oh, okay, we got to read this one. This is We're going to take the time to actually read that. Look at the flavor text. An ounce beautiful demonic sword that was further twisted and corrupted by chaos. Hold on, let me help. I feel like I'm, I'm shaking and I'm like freaking out. Let me make the, the... Oh my God. I'm trying to help you guys with the focus. And the camera's freaking out because of the reflection. All right, that's going to have to do. Sorry, everybody. The focus on this is just out of control. Wow. Oh, wow. This card can be your buddy? Really? This can be your buddy card? Wow. Equip cost, pay two gauge if you have no monsters on your field. This card cannot be on... Wait. This card on the field cannot be destroyed. You cannot call monsters in the field, and you may pay. You may equip any number of items. All items in your hand get an additional equip, pay one gauge, so you can keep equipping things if you keep paying one gauge. It does have overkill. That is kind of a newer ability for those of you who were not around for the last few years. Pay an additional... Get overkill is kind of like an extra boost you can do. Wow, that is really cool. Okay. Man, I was like, are we really going to go the whole box without getting something amazing? I was like, that would be my luck. Am I right? All right, hold on. So let's finally fix that since there's no more reflection because my camera was freaking out, you guys. All right, back to the mini dude, mini slime, chaos baller, and folklore. Uh -huh. Rudy's folklore, making stuff up. Is that a rare or uncommon? Uncommon and a single rare chaos carbuncle. Wow, well, is she... Oh, I thought that was like a sword sticking out of her head. I was like, that's kind of... I don't know if that's healthy. Don't know if that's healthy, everybody. Mini purple dude! A mini... Okay. I'm like, I freak out when I get the same card in a road. I'm like, okay, it's different. Sorry, different artwork. Monster egg and... Unyielding dignity with another single rare skilled general's insight. See, I don't think the foiling helps that. But I like the artwork. But I think the foiling should be... Kind of, it should promote the artwork, not hinder it. Just my opinion. Chest break, chaos slime again. We do have a foil common die shadow dragon, so we got the common variant there. Uncommon hawk eye, hawk eye. Ooh, a gemologist. That's kind of cool. You may only cast this card if you have six life or more. It is a spell. Star dragon world. Put the top card of your deck into your gauge. You may wait. Put up to the one size three prism dragon from your deck. Wow, a lot of prism support. Anybody notice that? Or am I just late to the party? I might just be late to the party. Well, we're getting towards the end, you guys. I think we only got a couple packs left. All right, another fabricated sword. Two more fabricated replica sword. Dragon Knight. And that's still common, sorry. Dragon. What was that? Dragon Tap? Drago Trap? And whoa, look at those crystal greaves. Look at those boots. I feel like I'm playing Diablo right now. Crystal greaves. Look at those bad boys. Wow, more Prism Dragon type support cards. That is really neat. Boy, that is a cool card. Like I said, I don't know about financially, like dollar-wise, and what you guys can expect as far as like secondary market and things like this. This isn't really a card game um, you would invest in or anything like that. This is more something you just do for fun because it's just something different to play. Single rare Treasures Chamber Sword Room of Sword of the King. That is a cool looking. I like the art on that. I like how it's like a big, beautiful, like powerful sanctuary type castle. All right, we only have a couple packs left. It looks like we're not going to end up getting anything really exotic. I was really hoping to get something crazy on camera, you guys. Uncommon Favor! And looks like double rare. Jade Gem Crystal Dragon. Dude, that is a cool looking dragon, though. Dude, look at that, like, look at that unicorn type horn in that dragon. That is a pretty sweet. So, I was hoping to get, like, an SP or a, you know, a BR, buddy rare type thing, or some sort of variant or you know, parallel card, but looks like we're not going to hit it. But, you know, we tried. We tried, everybody. We, we we will go out in glory. Sword of glory of the Order Edge. We will go out in glory. We didn't, we didn't win the lotto, but it doesn't matter. We will live to fight another day, and we will continue to seal chains. Dragon press. Come on, come on, come on, chaos. And, oh, well, wait, 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 hold on. I saw, I thought it was the other card. This is a triple rare. I can't read because the, the reflection is so intense on my camera, like the angle. I can't even, can you guys even read it? I can't even read the name, the reflection. World linking key, the, I can't even, holy crap. 
It is a triple rare. You can tell by the foiling is very, very exotic. Sorry, guys, I can't even read too many details on that. The reflection, the way I have my camera set up. Holy smokes. Chest break. Chaos Beller, Dragon Knight. Mother, wait, Mother Dragon Returns? It's like, you mess with my eggs? You messing with my eggs? All right, sorry, get out of control. And it's double rare battle skills diplomat. Okay, so now we're getting a lot of double triple rares. You guys notice that? I still was being greedy. Greedy Rudy was hoping to pull a super mega ultra crazy rare, and it looks like uh, the last two packs, it looks like we're not going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Powerful battle, Magi Magni single rare. Oh, wait, where's my single rare pile? I almost lost my single rare pile. All right, the mini gear rod again, the awards ceremony, life in space uncommon. Wait, we're doing that double thing again, freaks me out. That is an uncommon variant. God, that drives me crazy. And is that I-20 as move, or is that is that 120? I'm going to assume it's I-20 single rare. I would assume that to be the case. Well, we're down to two packs, everybody, and I'm hoping for a major lottery card hit in the close here. Doesn't look like we're going to do it. And Steel Dragon Fangs Single Rare Spell. All right, come on. Last two packs. We got to do it. We got to hit it. Come on, let's go out with them. I just realized, wait, we had no pack. We had no secret pack in here. And we got ourselves a nice double rare, though. Flying Crystal Dragon. Sheld Sheldre? Or Shelder? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's pretty sweet looking, though. Well, last pack in the box. Is this our uh, secret rare pack? Because I was like, maybe it's their secret. Oh, yeah, it is our secret rare pack. I was like, we didn't get a secret rare pack with all the um, secret rares. Okay, so all five of these should be, yeah. And, of course, keep in mind, some of these secret rares you can get as a regular rare variant. So it's not like that big of a deal. See at the bottom? Can you guys read that? It says secret at the bottom. See that? Chaos Zoranga. And see, this is the one of the regular rares. You can just get a variant of the secret rare. And of course, the boy, Chaos Transcendent. Can't even read that. Geared. I can't, geared Rudy is cool. We're going to go with that. Holy smokes. Does that say 90? Oh my God. Look at this dude. 70,000. No, is that right? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That's insane interception barrier holy smokes what a way to end this pack am i right machining sacrifice secret rare and that is it you guys i hope you guys had fun that was a really cool box opening that was <laughs> we did not get a really cool variant or a really cool buddy rare unfortunately as you guys know if we look at the packaging unfortunately the buddy rare i mean there's only three of them i think you get one per case and there's like 16 booster boxes per case so Unfortunately, we did not get one of the 16 boxes with the super card. Nonetheless, I hope you guys had fun. Like I said, if you're ever bored, check it out. I just think it's a fun alternative if you just get bored of playing Magic or Pokemon. Rudy the Alpha Investments, you guys have a lot of fun and have a fantastic day. As always, eat plenty of tacos and get plenty of sleep because why else are we here?